time for Law and Disorder. I demand a lawyer. With attorney Jeff Kaufman on 1011 WJRR. All right, Jeff Kaufman, a partner at Kaufman and Lynn. Find the local firm here in Central Florida. If you or someone you know has been injured, slip and fall, accident, something of that nature, might want to give Jeff a call. Very easy to get in touch with. Jeff at whenyouneedus.com is his email. Again, Jeff at whenyouneedus.com or pound 546 on your cell. Jeff, obviously, personal injury is your uh, specialty, but you're, you're pretty well uh, equipped to, to field general legal questions as well. Yeah, practicing over a quarter of a century, licensed in 18 states. I think I got this. You uh-huh. can handle it, and that's why he comes in to help you out. A lot of times, you don't even need a lawyer. He'll tell you that. And Jeff, yeah, he's the first one to tell you that so you don't go wasting money. Or, um, or if something you got maybe would be better uh, handled in small claims court, he'll point you that direction as well. Yeah. Um, I was looking at uh, events that you have coming up. They have a movie premiere next week, Pat, November 16th, the new Hunger Games movie, The Ballad of so- of Songbirds and Snakes. Yeah, not kids killing each other, Lord of the Flies. <laughs> I love that, man. You uh, you want to go? You can request tickets to the show, maximum of four. And all you have to do is go to whenyouneedus.com slash events. Free. Free. It's a nice thing we do. I, we, I take about 500 people to movies every month. I know. So it's it's a really cool thing to be able to do. When you look down, everyone's having a good time. They're, and movies are expensive. Yeah. you know. Do you ever buy popcorn for everyone? Uh, do I buy popcorn for everyone? I was waiting for him to Did say. Did I win the lottery last week? <laughs> you know, was popcorn to cost in a theater? To say, shut up, Pat. <laughs> That's yeah. really what I was expecting. Yeah. Hey, you know what you could do more, Jeff? You could pay people's rents. Yeah, okay. Cover some mortgages during that movie. Again, that's a Jeez. when you need us. Dot Where's com. the love, Pat? When you need us. Dot com. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so juju, you know juju beans cost? S- sneak your own candy in. Yeah, that's in the back pocket. Yeah. You get away with that. When you need us, dot com slash events. I used to smuggle Chick Fil A into movies when I was younger. We that was the best. It smells delicious. That was the best. We used to always smuggle beers in, but we were talking to a listener who could smuggle in a, a hungry man dinner. <laughs> Fully prepared, that's a big dude. Though. He'd prepare it and have it in a special container where he could carry it's it. It's like the pregnant thing. My wife's pregnant, and really, it's just a hole for you to pull out your food. R- really, yeah. Thought process into that whole deal there. Let's talk. Let's talk about things that won't get you arrested at the theater. Come on. Yeah, or that belly thing. You know, the women do it sometimes with a, a, ba- a bag full of liquor at concerts. I always wondered how that was a crime. I guess it's a weird stealing of services. It's a little nonsense like that. All right, legal question. If I file a formal grievance against another employee at my job and my employer threatens to fire me if I pursue it further, do I have any recourse? Well, they can fire you for basically anything other than issues concerning race, religion, stuff like that. So if they're going to say, listen, you know, it's done. We've already decided on it. Uh, Let it go. And you go, I'm not letting it go. You know, I'm Aaron Brockovic. I'm going to do what I want to do. You're going to get fired. There you go. Do they have any uh, recourse? Yeah, they can find another job. That's going to be the recourse. <laughs> now, you, know, if, you don't have a job. You don't have a right to keep fighting an issue you have. If their their complaint is regarding uh, their personal discrimination, safety. Uh, health. I mean, somebody picking on you because you're you're disabled. Uh, yeah, I mean, but that's that's stuff protected under the federal government. But you guys can't. Well, I I have a right to complain. You really don't have a right to complain. You have a right to file a lawsuit. You have a right to go to an employment attorney. Um, but there are certain things that you don't have a right to. Now, sexual discrimination, if you're reporting it, you know, there's whistleblower statutes and stuff like that. But just because they're going to say, hey, listen, we worked this out. There's no more. And if you go, well, I'm going to keep pushing this. Well, that's going to be your issue. And you have a right to do that as long as you don't want that job anymore. Okay, uh, that answer your question, Pat. Crystal clear. Sorry, I Ooh. wish I wish I had a better answer for you, dude. Legal, <laughs> legal. Hey, don't don't be sorry. He's the guy that's I buying do. popcorn for I, everybody I in your movie. Yeah, Jeff. Where's my juju beans? Or how's you doing it? Uh, legal <laughs> advice. Wife applies and holds multiple credit cards in husband's name Ooh. without his knowledge. Is no, this a form fraud. of fraud? That is fraud. That is fraud. That's fraud. That's forgery. That's a lot of things. And uh, sounds like a good reason to get divorced. Yeah. Because yeah. if this is what's she happening. She's respecting your authority, dude. No, nah, it's not going to get better. Nope. Um, for Jeff, what should I do? Yeah, um, these are coming off 22526. Just remember, like you're doing right now, try to keep them short. For Jeff, what should I do if my 
old workplace does not want to pay workers' compensation for an injury I st- sustained at work and then re-injured while on the clock, but in my personal vehicle driving from one job site to another. Okay. You're only entitled to the damages that happen to you at work. You're not entitled to secondary damages. Now, uh, what I would do is, since it was never handled the first time, you know, give me a call. I'll forward it over to a great workers' comp attorney and uh, see if we can take care of you. But workers' comp is nothing to screw around with. I know you're saying, well, I don't want to get fired. I don't want to do these things. Your job doesn't care later on if you, if you can't work. They're going to go, we'll just replace you. So loyalty only applies as long as you're, how can I put it, they care about you. And most time they don't. Okay, this one uh, was terminated from a pizza place. I don't want to name the chain. Terminated from a pizza place. What's the, what's the pizza you guys do? Not your guys' place, right? No, not BAF. We don't have employees yet. We we don't have employees to fire yet. Yeah. All we, these guys are complaining that they wanted the job, but you wouldn't give it to them, and they file complaints. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so. The this, pizza was too big. Was I too just big. couldn't get it out of the oven. The beer was too cold with that. My wrist hurt from the, from <laughs> yes, the head weight of the pizza. Yeah, corporal pizza tunnel syndrome. <laughs> to Jeff, I was terminated from my job. At the pizza place, contacted headquarters looking for my first pay- or my last paycheck. During the investigation, they noticed twenty dollars has been coming out of my of my check for uniforms. This was a mistake. They reimbursed me one thousand eighty three dollars, but wow, we never we never received pay stubs. What if the other employees are being affected? Well, I what's that line? Um, you, you know, got is paid. it about you? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> what's it? I mean, you know, I, I, it's a nice concept that you care about your employees, but yeah, they could be getting screwed over too. Yeah. I can't. How do you not notice your like light twenty bucks? I mean, do you get paid that much that you don't notice that? Mm-hmm. I mean, if I was like twenty bucks when I was working fast food, that was like four hours of my job. Yeah, I was talking to a coworker on Friday. He was telling the story about getting a call from Fidelity Investments about making adjustments to his 401k and he said i don't have a 401k and they go well, we're looking at your account right now sir and uh no. that's fantastic right right he had signed up for, he was really young when he started here didn't really understand what so they it was just kept giving him money so, no so he did apparently sign up for it but he wasn't aware of it good and, for you dude right, so what's it up to it when he got the call, it was at 10 k Okay. Wow. He was him, relatively man. early in on it. Yeah. But he was like, whoa, yeah, okay, now I'm, I'm down with this 401k stuff. That'd be great. Yeah. Good, for, good for him, yeah. man. You, I always love those windfalls when somebody goes, hey, you know, the, you get the Florida Treasure stuff, you know, the stuff you, mm-hmm. you get an envelope and go, hey, you know, you paid some insurance that was never paid and it's sitting in the bank and you could go get it. Yeah, do that. Trust me, when you get that Florida Treasure stuff, that's that's real money. Don't screw around with it. Go get it. Pat, tell me after the segment who the coworker I will. is. You know I'm dying. I will. Hi, Jeff. Can I fire my attorney mid case? He does not communicate and never seems to know what's going on. In situations like this, yes, you can let your attorney go, but your attorney can lean the file, but that lien's going to be dependent on the work he did. Um, so I this happens all the time. My advice is you know, send him an email directly. Sometimes you hire a firm where you think you're hiring the guy who's talking to you on TV when you're not, um, you know, escalate it up to him. Like, for example, there are times that, uh, you know, my partner and I are in a case and somebody will send me an email and I'll go, oh, hold, hold on a second. Let me take a look. And a lot of times it's just, you know, a little hand holding. It's a little, let me explain what's going on. But yes, you absolutely can fire your lawyer. What is a reasonable time frame to hear if you call whatever firm you've, hired and you need a, a, a question answered about this or that or whatever what, what is a reasonable expectation to hear back from them i think i think a lot of times if i had to guess i think i think if you don't have an answer within uh you've been trying to get to them three or four times and you don't get it on the fourth time and you're talking about a week or two i'm not talking like three or four times that day right because people will do that they'll call right, right, 10 right. times that day yeah right. um but i think i think i think two three weeks and if they've called three or four times i think that's enough Okay, gotcha. All right. Uh, my boyfriend keeps breaking HOA rules. Can they throw him out? I own the condo. Um, let me explain this. You need to you need to cut him loose because he's going to cost you some money. They're going to fine you. The HOAs they can just slap a fine on you, and then that fine can be put on your actual property. If he's breaking rules, you got to tell your man, "Hey, dude, grow up." You yeah. know what kind of rules is he breaking? And this is the kind of guy. And I'm not. 
I don't know this guy personally, but I much less one HOA rule, but multiple rules. Like, what is he doing? Like, deciding just to cook inside or something yeah. I mean, with like a barbecue? The guy over um, there. Yes, they could. They could fine you. They could eventually, you know, evict him. Uh, so yeah, there are a lot of things they can do, and it's just going to cost you money. Uh, there, there's a lot of rules that protect HOAs, and, and you're on the bad end of this one. So, you know, try to at least do your best acquiesce. Call it's a big just word, acquiesce. Cut a tree down. Yeah, yeah, the guy over there who's peddling popcorn, he's uh, he got tree fined. She didn't say one thing. Multiple issues. I'm like, I'm like, I've never broken like, I, you know, I have the thing where okay, your grass is too high, but I've never had like the multiples where they just send you like a list of stuff I've done wrong. Uh, legal question: Bought a car from a dealer a few weeks ago. And I pay, I paid in full. Today, my vehicle gets towed from the front of my house because there was a lien on it. Oof. That's no good. Somebody's getting sued. It's definitely not you. You're in the right. Uh, the people who sold you the car when you paid in full, they should have made sure that they had absolute rights to it. It sounds like they didn't. And somebody towed the car. So, yes, they are absolutely responsible. Okay. All right. If we did not have time to get to your question this morning, don't worry. We will hold on to those for uh, next week when Jeff comes back and joins us. Or if it's something really pressing, you can reach out to him anytime you'd like. Yeah, I will print these up for next week. Jeff at whenyouneedus.com is his direct email. Again, Jeff at whenyouneedus.com or pound 546 on your cell. Kaufman is the firm. Jeff Kaufman, one of the partners, very gracious and generous with your time. We appreciate that, sir. It's always a pleasure, gentlemen. All right. We'll see you next Monday. JRR On Demand. Download the iHeartRadio app.